Well, we're dealing with a subject today, which is uh, one that I'm sure many people who watch our videos have uh, been thinking about. Uh, the question of when you've had babies and you've had a career, how do you then balance the two? Danny's with us. Uh, and, and this is what we're talking about, because you're doing, well, a sort of remote secretarial job. And I thought that's really interesting to find out yeah. how you can balance these two things and, and why you went down this route. Yeah, so I was a legal secretary pre child <laughs> um, I did that for six years um, and then I went on maternity and had this one mm -hmm. um, and then I came to the question at the end of maternity leave what do I do do I go back to work or do I stay at home um, and bring my child up and the, que the answer was well I want to stay at home and be as big a part of Max's life as I can be but obviously we need to live and living costs money so it was kind of really what do, what do I do do I go back to the office or is there a way around this um, and the way around it was to set up uh, my secretary which is a virtual secretary business um, which basically pulls on my experience um, yeah free child so, so a life balance has been found has it yes I mean it's still very much it's very fresh it's very new um, and, but we're, we're definitely getting there. So. And you do everything you would do if you were sitting in the office, I suppose. Well, yeah. not, well, not everything, but I mean, obviously not making the coffees and things like that. But if you <laughs> did make that. i for myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but how, how tricky and what, what challenges has it brought? Um, I think the biggest challenge is finding the balance um, between uh, being there for Max, but also making sure that I can give my uh, full attention to any work that I have coming in. So at the moment, um, Max isn't in nursery, but he's... Uh, I'm hoping to put him in there towards the end of next month. So at the moment, um, I do all work when he's in bed, whether that's when he has a nap in the afternoon or in the evening. And I've found that actually that gives me a good balance between dedicating certain time and attention to work to make sure that there's minimal mistakes, um, but then also being able to yeah. be there um, for Max. As I said, the reason what well, interests me was the other people, no doubt, in the same yeah, dilemma. Of how to, and, and you recommend this sort of path? Yeah, definitely. It's been a really good experience. Um, I've learned a lot uh, about what it means to run your own business. I did the micro business grant scheme with the government, um, and that really opened my eyes into everything that kind of goes on behind the scenes. But I think if you're thinking about whether, do I want to go back into the office? No, not really, but what can I do? How can I earn a living? Then setting up your own business is definitely worth exploring because it gives you that freedom of being your own boss, of working your own time, um, and also being there yeah. to bring your child up. The attention is needed, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, definitely. I mean, I suppose the other way would do this. You'd have to have a child mind or something which yeah. would be you bring your money in but well, then exactly. it's going out that's the thing that's exactly the thing is if you you know you go back to work you need a child mind or you need to put him into full-time daycare that costs money and I think I worked out that I wouldn't be bringing home yeah. a sensible amount basically once you've taken off nursery fees because it's not it's not cheap at the moment. Okay, so are, are you a one-man band or are other people working with you or how's it work? I'm a one-man band. Oh, right. Yes. So and we, we should we should give you a mention. <laughs> I mean, it's going by my secretary, right? Yeah. They find you at mysecretary.im. Yeah, mysecretary.im is the website or info at mysecretary.im. And how's the word spread? I mean, do people? It's it's a small company, I suppose, or individual people who need some help. Oh God, that'd be me, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you and me. Is that yeah. what it's, it's aimed at? Yeah, yeah. It's aimed. Well, it's aimed at anybody yeah. really. Anybody that's got any kind of secretarial uh, or administration needs. Um, big companies, small companies, somebody that's setting off on their own that just needs a bit of help um, managing their diary, or um, somebody who has a lot of travel but yeah. it doesn't like to... Uh, Do you meet your clients? <laughs> <laughs> I have met some of them. <laughs> I have one client who I do most of my work for who I haven't actually met face to face, which is bizarre, but Do you Skype it or works. We have spoken on the phone oh, quite a lot yeah. and um, obviously email these yeah, days, yeah, a lot yeah. of things happen over It's incredible, the isn't internet. it, how remote people can be and still actually Absolutely. have a working relationship. Yeah, so and it, I feel it's working quite well. Um, I've been working for him for a couple of months now. I do a lot of um, diary management, travel arrangement and that sort of thing. Um, oh, so basically, well. it is like a, having your own PA, yeah. own secretary, but not 
in your office. Remote. Yeah. And by the way, we should thank Max for being dead quiet while we did this. <laughs> yeah. He's very happy. He's there, over fed there. Him. <laughs> <laughs>